yes my people them cfc release blue back with another video and it's a chelsea news update man and in this update it's just about my thinking as to why i believe as Resco is going to be transforming enzo fernandez into a world-class midfielder as well as that i'm going to be talking about some things in relations to injuries so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support i will be uploading again later on today so enjoy that video as well and Subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell, help me get as many likes, help me get a thousand likes or a thousand views. Appreciate that, my people, damn. But now let's get into the video and we'll be talking about some quotes that Maresca made in regards to Enzo Fernandez's performance against Leicester yesterday. And I quote, So Enzo did very well today. He's doing well since we started. The same as Raul Felix, as I've said many times. The problem is, depending on the game plan, we use different kinds of players. I thought today was the right game to use Enzo, even if he was just back from international duty. I think he did very well. I'm trying to convince Enzo in the way I played at Leicester last season with Wilfred Ndidi, Ankin and Drizby Hall. The attacking midfielder has to arrive inside the box. The reason he scored today was because he was in the box. Otherwise, from outside the box, you are not going to score goals. So we are happy with the way Enzo is playing. And big up Enzo Moresco and big up Enzo Fernandez, man. As you can see here, these are Enzo Fernandez stats. And can't lie, man. It was an outstanding performance. And it just goes to show why, in my opinion, why Enzo Moresco is definitely getting more out of this team than Maurizio Pochettino. Just things like this and the way that he sets up his team and gives them the tactics to allow them to be arriving in the right place at the right time because that's all from the coach. And Maresco is doing so much, so much better than what we had this time last year. This time last year, we were being talked about as a one-man team. Now we are actually a team relying on so many different individuals. Yesterday, it was Enzo Fernandez that had a great performance, just like Nicholas Jackson. And... That was that was the link up because it was thanks to Jackson why Enzo was even able to get the um was even as get the goal the same way it was thanks to Enzo why Jackson was able to get his goal. Them two was playing very well and was our top two performers from that game yesterday. But again, the reason why I'm here is to talk about why I think Moresco will develop Enzo into becoming one of the best midfielders in the world. And that will be coming from the fact that he can score goals. Arriving in the box at the right time. Great midfielders arrive in the box at the right time. Look at Chelsea's all-time all -time leading goal scorer, Frank Lampard. He was the epitome of that. Arriving in the box at the right time. Knowing when to pull back from a defender and, and just be in the box to create the space and to put the ball in the back of the net. Whether it's an empty net or if it's a keeper in there. I know yesterday's performance was only against Leicester City, and I'm not going to sit here and say that after yesterday's performance, yeah, Enzo Moresco is going to be has already transformed Enzo Fernandez into a world class midfielder. He has the potential, just like a lot of our players have the potential to be world class players. But it's about how many times we're able to kick on and get these kind of positions. Because it's all about the football mind. Get yourself into that predicament. You play the game so many different times, get coached enough of it. It will soon become second nature. And these are things that have to take time and will be coming and getting better and better season after season after season. And that's why it's heavily important as to why Enzo Resco needs to be at Chelsea for at least another two seasons for us to reap the full benefits of all the work that he's going to do. Because we are seeing the benefits right now. And that's a lot down to Moresco and the way he's coaching the team. But it's going to be down to the players that can take us to that next level, that can help the manager become even greater than what he's been doing. And with performances like yesterday that Enzo, that Enzo Fernandez did, the amount of times he won the ball back, the amount of times he started um key um started key key moments in 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 the game, and obviously got the goal and the assist that helped us get the massive three points that we needed. That was that was brilliant. And like I said, he came back from international duty. I've done a video on that. He's done that numerous amount of time. This is the normal for Enzo. This is the normal. It's just going to be waiting to see if he does get into our best 11. Because right now, I've seen so many different players and so many top performances. 
I don't even know what the best 11 is right now. And I don't even think Maresco does. But we have to be able to find out before the end of the season. And like I said, it's heavily influential that Maresco's here for the foreseeable future. Another two seasons after this. Because for us to be able to go from just a, um, a team competing for the top four to title challenging, it's going to need a lot, a lot of consistency. A lot of consistency. And that will help if we keep the manager as well as he can develop these players. So... You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think Enzo Resco can develop Enzo Fernandez into being one of the best midfielders in the world? Let me know down below. But now I'm going to talk about the injury stuff that he was asked about after the Leicester game. And it's how it goes. So, and I quote, we don't have any update on Reese. We have to wait still some days because he's going to do a scan again. And then we will see. Malo was with us in Leicester, but during the night, unfortunately, he didn't feel well, was ill, so he was so he was out. Pedro had a problem when he was with the international team. There was a chance that he could be with us, but we didn't want to take any risk for this game. And hopefully he can be available for the next one. Levi was exactly the same as Malo. He didn't feel very well during the night and the morning, but he could play. He finished the game, so hopefully it isn't nothing important. Clearly, it's not nothing important. And these illnesses, I feel like this stuff can happen just with the change of weather in England. It has cold as hell right now. Winter period is really starting to kick in. So the illness, I'm not really too fussed about. But Levi was able to play through it. Malo wasn't. That's minor. He will be ready for next week's game. Pedro Neto, he came back from international duty early after the one game he played for Portugal, helping them secure qualification into the conference, I mean, to the Nations League core finals. So he didn't play the rest of their games. He has been basically off from the last week. And we do have a game against Heidenheim in the Conference League this coming Thursday. But we shouldn't even be risking him for that. Give Jaden Sancho some game time in that because he hasn't been playing a lot throughout the last month. Pedro now keep him ready for that game against Aston Villa, which is a big Big game for us next weekend. So yeah, I expect Pedro now to be ready to be playing by next weekend. If he's if he's in the squad for the conference league, then fair enough. But I expect him to be fully ready for that game against Aston Villa next weekend. And to talk about Reese James as well. We're not gonna know anything on Reese for the next couple of days. He's gonna have a scan, as I've stated in other videos. He will have a scan next week. And then we'll be able to re relay any news that's coming out from that. So, hey man, speed recovery to Reese James. I hope that you come back as soon as possible. Fingers crossed. But I'm not going to be holding my breath on that. But yeah, that's just some things that Enzo Resk was asked on about injuries after the Leicester match. That's my thoughts and opinions on him potentially being able to transform Enzo Fernandez into being a world-class midfielder, and that's by adding more goals to his game, arriving in the box at the right time, giving him that physical mindset to always be in the box. And it's going to take a lot of consistency to do so. So that's just my thoughts on that. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I will be uploading again later, so stay tuned. And as always, come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea. Thank you for your support, and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. In a bit, my people, damn, love.